everyone, welcome back. All right, so today we're going to be planning from March 9th to March 15th in the Hobonichi Cousin. If you saw my last video, you'll have seen that I am using the weekly view a little bit different from a traditional way you might use a weekly view. I have some habit trackers here, um, some different reminders that I wanted to incorporate during the week. The week is not over, do not judge me yet. Um, how many pages I read, how many calories I burned, a couple of reminders for the next week, um, and then a couple of scheduled things here. So I have had a terrible time with my Silhouette Studio. My library is corrupt. It took a couple days to figure that out. Um, so as of right now, I can't use my Silhouette until I figure out, you know, get to the bottom of it because I can't even open the software. But that's a whole other story, but that's why you see all these things here. Um, right here, I am putting Rehome the Dang Microplane. So Microplane is a long grater. Um, I often use it for garlic or ginger when I'm cooking. And you will probably notice that my nails are always like different lengths. And that's because every time that I reach into the utensil drawer, I don't care where I put this thing, it nicks my nails. And then, you know, one cannot simply uh, just go cut your nail. It's like you're always playing with it. And then before you know it, anyways, that's neither here nor there. All right, so this was working really great for me. So I will be doing it again this week. And I just want to give you a flip through the week. So I think the last day that I did, I believe I was on Thursday here. Um, I think you've seen cat butt here. Again, I am still doing my drawings. And that is from How to Draw Almost Every Day. Um, let me see if I can get who it's by. I think it just says Como. But this is on Amazon and I will link that down below so you can take a look. It's been awesome. Like, look at that. Like, I love it. Um, a couple of different, there's like a toy, um, what do you call them? Musical instruments. So yeah, this book has been really great for me. Um, I am keeping on here with the same way that I've been laying things out. So I have my water tracker, what I'm eating, pages read, uh, exercise and anything else that has to do with that day scripture on top and just kind of a little bit of journaling or whatever I would like to do in this part so there's Thursday I will just do a quick flip through and now I haven't decided what it is I want to do with this page I think I might do it as like a goals page or I might save it for the end of the month to put all my memories here um, haven't decided so I'm just gonna leave it open right now. I'm kind of leaning towards using it as a monthly wrap up and putting all my memories here. Just because when I go down to write goals, I tend to overthink it and not really accomplish them. So I am more of a kind of do it on the fly kind of girl when it comes to goals. So I'll just keep flipping through. And again, constantly with the silhouette stuff, driving me nuts. And right here, I have finally hit my first goal of losing 30 pounds. So a little over a year and I hit it there. So I'm really excited about that. And here we are today on Friday. So with that, we'll go ahead and flip back and I will get going on the week. This week I'm going to be using a sticker tablet by Carpe Diem and this one is titled Live Simply and it had a really strong spring vibe to me and we've had about almost 80 degree days this week so I am loving it. Spring is my favorite season so I'm really excited. I am also going to be using this 10 millimeter washi tape from Simply Gilded and this is from the sub box a couple sub boxes ago. And then you see my Reset Girl stickers. Um, I think that is from the Thankfully Yours collection. So I'll go ahead and start by running this washi tape across the top. Like I said in my last video, this runs really well between the space between the date and the start of the columns. So I'll go ahead and get that started on both sides. I'm going to cover the dates at the top of these stickers. This again is from the Reset Girl 
Thankful Years collection, and I'm just comparing with the sticker book to see what I want to use. So I'll be using my husband's tweezers again and covering the date dots. And now the stickers are slightly smaller than some of these dates, but it's okay. It doesn't bother me any. And now we are on the 12th, which 12 is my lucky number in case you were wondering. I'm going to start with the sidebar this week and this book, this one sticker right here, it's time to bloom uh, is initially what kind of drew me through this whole book and made me decide to use these stickers this week. I just feel like being really on top of my habit trackers this week, especially taking my vitamins has really kind of just leveled me out a little bit despite the silhouette issues. That was a whole different story, but I just feel like I'm, I don't know, like I'm coming alive, you know, like springtime is my favorite time and I just I feel my best in the spring so I just thought that the sticker was very fitting and drawing this box around it um, I've been really into like these popping off the page boxes so just doing that box and I'm going to color it in with a gray mild liner And then after I do that, I'm going to put some stickers at the bottom just to kind of give it um, a little more character like I did in the previous week with one of the honeys and a word strip. I realized that the layering sticker was a little bit too big and had I thought about it earlier I would have put it behind the honey but um, I couldn't pull that up so I just kind of uh, laid it on top. I think it turned out okay. I'm going to be writing down the same habits as I did last week simply because they're not habits yet so I still need to work on them. I realized that trying to get up at 6.30 was kind of a lofty goal for me and it just simply is not going to happen. I am a night owl by design and try as I might I just cannot get up early so I think 7 o'clock is doable so I will try and do that and uh, go from there. And then this week, I don't need to put my ProGest cream on, so I'm just putting a big sticker there to remind me, hey, don't do it this week. And you'll see me flipping through the back to last week um, just to make sure that I'm writing down everything just the same way I, as I was last week. And then my next column, I'll go ahead and get down all of the dinners that I want to have for the week. I wound up not filling it out beforehand this week. I did have my meals planned, but sometimes that changes and that drives me nuts if it's different in my planners. So I'm going to leave it blank and fill it out as I go, um, but I do like to have it just to reference. This next sticker will be for my YouTube video for next week, and uh, I don't know what that video is going to be yet. So. Just kind of, you know, keep me on your notifications list and you'll see when my next video goes out. Next, I want to use a sticker to remind myself to pay the house payment. I really hate that I got to put this down, but uh, it's all right. Thankful I have a house. I just don't like making the payment. 
then I need to make sure that I pay a bill on Monday. And that's to make sure that my lights stay on. The next couple stickers that I'll put down will be right here on the weekend section. And that'll be to mark down all the pages that I read during the week, as well as total number of calories burned from all my workouts. So I'm just taking some more Reset Girl stickers and I'll be doing a little bit of layering as well as the Carpe Diem stickers. Now I'm just putting a sticker down to remind myself that I have church on Sunday. I mean, you don't forget that, but just marking it out. Also that I have tickets for Everclear here in town on Saturday. I won tickets today, so I was pretty excited about that. Then using the left-hand side of this page, I'm gonna do like I did last week and basically make it a running to-do list. And so for the week, each day, I'll just pick a couple things off this list to accomplish. I'm reminding myself that Monday is Barbie day, so I want to make sure to get my Harvey seatbelt Barbie bag out. It is my most favorite bag, but I only use it sparingly so that way I don't get it dirty or, you know, mess it up or anything. So I just wanted to show you this bag because it's absolutely adorable. And the final thing that I want to do is take this last little section and uh, mark it off to put things down to remind myself for the following week. So if anything comes up during this week, I just mark it down to remind myself to put it on the schedule for next week. And I couldn't resist taking a couple of these hearts and sprinkling them throughout. And I felt like that bottom right hand corner needed a little bit of something too. So this little plant fit the bill. And that'll complete my weekly planning. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you want to see anything in particular from me, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in a few days with a new video. Thanks for watching.